Good morning. It's me again with some random thoughts on relationships. Um I'm 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 one person who believes that when God created us, he created us as very social human beings. And we cannot live in isolation, we cannot live away from each other regardless of our personality. Now, our relationships, our interactions are in four categories. Category one is a family, where you never get to choose who your family is or which family you belong to. And it is important for us to nurture, to cultivate a healthy relationship with our family members because it has a ripple effect on how we relate with people outside the family space. Now, if you have a way in which you can get around to create those healthy bonds within the family home. If you're a parent, probably, and you're raising young children, you've got to realize whatever you do now has an effect on how your children will relate with other people at the places of work, at their neighborhoods, because they will leave the house at some point, they leave the home set up, and how they handle those relationships has a lot to do with what we do at the family unit. Yes, when children get at the teenage level, they want to express some level of independence, and sometimes there'll be an expression of, you know, their, 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 their autonomy, let me call it quote-unquote, but those things are normal, and the experts will tell you that they'll tone down after the teenage level or phase of their life. But at the end of the day, they still belong to a family unit. They still belong to this space. So then how, what are some of the things we can do at the family level? One, let's prioritize time for one another. The children need time with their parents. And you cannot start chasing children when they're already in their adult level. So begin early to cultivate a healthy relationship, a healthy space by providing them the time, not just the gadgets, the time to be around them. Number two, the second level of interactions that we come across is at friendship level. Now, friendships, you choose who is your friend. You have the free will to choose because not everybody will become your friend. Not everyone you want to open up to and tell them about your deep issues in life. And we have to be careful who we open up to about our issues that we are going through, our fears, our concerns, and, uh, you know, the many deep secrets that we may have. Now, friends have one thing in common, that they have to exercise mutual respect and support each other. I mean, you cannot be in a friendship where you're the only one giving and never receiving the support that you need. And then again, you have to have shared common values, interests, and ideas, because that is what will keep you together and looking forward to sit together, to share, to interact, to speak, you know, to enjoy life together with people who you share common values, common ideas, and common interests. Now, these friendships can either graduate to become romantic relationships, depending on whether you would want to take it that level. Now, romantic relationships begin at that level from the place of friendship. You cannot tell someone that you're in a romantic relationship and you're not their friend. It's not possible. You begin the relationship from the friendship level and then you graduate. And allow me to put it this way. I am a firm believer of that it is male and female that engage in a romantic relationship. It's not the way that the world is trying to paint to us. For me, I believe that God created Adam and Eve and not Eve and Evelyn, and not Adam and Andrew, to be in a romantic relationship. It's Adam and Eve, male and female. So then from the friendship level, when it is nicely cultivated, it can graduate to the romantic level where you operate on love, on attraction. And people in this level, they want to meet, they want to work, and probably nurture a deeper relationship that can graduate into marriage or love or long-term relationship. Now, the fourth level of interaction is that of acquaintance. Now, you have got to realize friends you choose, romantic relationships you choose, acquaintances you have very little options of 
choosing them. You don't choose who are your colleagues at your place of work, do you? You can choose your neighborhood, but you can never choose your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'll keep hoping from one estate to another or from one apartment to another. And so what you need to do is learn to live with them as acquaintances, right? And the best way is to exercise some respect, knowing that each of these persons that you interact with come with their diverse personalities, their diverse needs, outlook of life. And so you have to appreciate them because then you're going to be either at the place of work, spending many hours with them. And you don't want to be in a place where you're constantly in conflict or stressed all the time. So you have got to be this person who wants to understand, appreciate their way of life. Of course, create the boundaries create the the space that each uh, that where you respect each other so that you are also at the place where you're enjoying and not enduring at your working space I mean you spend close to eight hours at the workspace you don't endure because of your bad interaction with your workmates with your colleagues please remember that at the family level those are long-term relationships they are lifetime because there's no way you can walk away and say, fine, the crazy thing is that some people can say, well, I don't belong to that family. But in real sense, your blood is their blood. You can't walk away from them. And uh, you can't choose them. Acquaintances, you can't choose. But guess what? Friends, you can choose. Romantic relationships, you can choose. And nobody should make you feel guilty of the choices that you make. But remember, in order for you to cultivate healthy relationships at whatever level, you have got to try and see things from the other person's perspective. Because it's unfortunate that some people really don't see things the way everyone sees them. We want to assume that everyone has got to see the issues from our eye. And that is being selfish. We've got to be empathetic. And once you become empathetic, you are able to work on nurturing relationships that are healthy, relationships that you don't feel drained all the time, relationships that can, you know, benefit you in your lowest moment and people can be around you. And to us as parents who are bringing and raising young children, let's give them the space to go out and interact. I am one person who is worried about how we are raising children these days. We, should we lock them indoors all the time? I know there is too much danger out there. But you know what? These children need to go out, interact, to play, so that then they are able to solve those small problems. You know, a ball is snatched from you. You get angry a little bit. Then you realize you have got to learn how to survive with this other boy who snatched your ball or this boy or this girl who decided to, you know, snatch your doll. And you have got to see and figure out how, even with the tantrums, you cry a bit. But then you realize you still need this girl to play with them or you need this boy to be able to play with them and kick the ball around with them. That way, then our children are able to build the muscle and the stamina to develop self uh, uh, problem solving skills that eventually they will use as they grow and they graduate please let's not run to their rescue all the time i know it is it is not easy to watch your child crying it is not easy to watch your child when they fall down and you hold a bit but i always encourage just don't be always there the helicopter kind of thing picking rescuing and not giving them the safe space to develop the muscle and to develop the the, 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 the the resilience they need to be able to survive in the space that we are in today. God bless you and have a lovely day.